I fooled y'all. I fooled y'all. Y'all really thought that I was going to be in her with my shirt off for Thirst Trap Thursdays. You really thought that. You did. Because your minds are in the gutter. Minds are in the gutter. That's why your relationships ain't where they're supposed to be. I mean, come on, y'all. Be smarter than that. Be smarter than that. You really thought I was going to be in her pouring water on my perfectly chiseled physique? Did you really think that? See, what I did, this was an exercise that you all can try in the streets when you are approached with a date and someone wants to date you. They are trapping you with your thirst. They are trapping you. It's in the title. It's in the title. Thirst Trap. They are trying to get you. But I'm happy to say that the first episode of my show is on Patreon.com slash Atheon Crockett, my manager's page. Oh, I don't like him very much, but support the page because he is my manager and I have signed a long contract with him. Um, whatever. The first episode is on my Patreon. Sign up. Patreon.com slash Atheon Crockett. Sign up. Subscribe. Y'all spend more money monthly on bullshit. I know you have $5 a month, $10, $20. Most of y'all spend it on shit you can't even afford. Like candy. You can't afford that candy because it's fucking your teeth up. Your, your mouth is raggedy. Your mouth is raggedy. Sign up for the Patreon to see my show. Episode 1 is up. It's full. It's in full. Do not play with me. Lay with me. So today is actually Therapy Thursdays. I call the Thirst Trap Thursdays to lure you in. To lure you and your dirty minds in. You thought I was going to be naked. And I know I have the perfect body. But you all are not privy to that. Feel like my outfit. I went to the motherland on y'all. Feel like my outfit? All right, let's help some people. Let's play. Let's help some people. Hi, Facebook. Facebook, am I gonna be nice today? Um, um, that depends on y'all. Truthfully, if I'm going to be nice, depends on y'all. Because I really be trying to help y'all. I really, really be trying to help. And y'all gonna make me outwork myself to try to help y'all. How am I the one that's the therapist, the life expert, and y'all coming to me for advice, and yet my life is better than yours? Because you're not listening. You're not listening. You're not listening to my adverse. I'm trying to help thee. So today, we're going to try. Facebook, y'all know the rules. I am on live simultaneously. In the TV world, it's called simulcast. I know this because I have a TV show now. And I know big words from entertainment. So Facebook, I am simulcast on IG Live and Facebook Live. So y'all won't be able to see who I'm talking to. You won't. But you can after the show is over. Ruh, ruh. On my manager, Apion Crockett's page. Okay? 
Check the video. Keep on donating stars. I see y'all over there donating stars. Y'all so sweet. I appreciate you. Now, IG, have your Wi-Fi's ready. Have your Wi-Fi's ready. Because I didn't come to play today. I came to slay today. Who's who's ready to talk? Who is ready to talk? To the good uh, Dirk Tur. The good Dirk Tur. I am the good Dirk Tur. Alright. Whose Wi Fi's are ready to go? Whose Wi Fi's? I'm just gonna pick random people, so do not be scared and hang it up on me. Because I'm the one who hangs up on people. Hello. Let me turn on my, my light. Uh, turn on your light and turn off that bonnet. Not turn off my bonnet. Would I need to uh, turn yes, the bonnet is louder than your lights. The hell is wrong with y'all? Do you not understand what Monique said to y'all? I don't Monique care what had she already said. said. I don't care what she said. Well, you better care what she said, and what you're not gonna do is sass me. Okay. I'm you're not gonna ready. sass me. Walk past me with all that. Okay. Okay, what do doctor. Want? What do you want? Okay, so basically, my ex he sent his um ex girlfriend three hundred dollars, and I kicked him out my house. He sent her three hundred dollars for what? Just because, <laughs> just because she asked him. I went through his phone. And how long have they been broken apart? For like ten years. Oh, so they still fucking all the time? No, because she lives in another state. Oh, they still fucking. That, don't worry about all that. Um. Wow, and so you kicked him out of your home. Yes, but I know I'm not bugging. Like, everybody thinks I'm, like, crazy. But, like, I know I'm not bugging. Like, I'm. it's good that I kicked him out, though, right? Well, I can't say what's good or what's bad as far as the living situation. But what I can tell you is um, he is fucking her. And it's probably because... He's not fucking her. How he going to fuck her? She in another state. Well, what you're not going to do is yell at me when I'm trying to okay, tell you the I'm truth. Okay, I'm sorry. What you're not going to do is, is yell at me when I'm trying to tell you the truth if it's your life. Okay? Watch yourself. Watch yourself, Bonnet. Okay? Watch yourself, Bonnet. Okay, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> do not. We are just starting out. Okay, my bad. You damn right it's your bad, Strawberry Shortcake. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. This is funny. But, yes, I mean, I'm okay because he's not the father of none of my kids but it hurt me a little bit. Yeah, well, you know, it's actually probably a compliment to you. I'm sure that he sent her the $300 so she could go and buy a whole lot of bonnets to remind him of you. Good night. <laughs> and thank you very much. <laughs> People, people. Why do they get on her and wear bonnets? Do you know you are on live? Thousands of people are watching you. Are you making popcorn up under there? What is going on? Do you think I want to see all of that? That wasn't even silk. That look like Rayon. I bet her hair stinks. Her hair smells like the club in the 90s. Underneath her body smells like New Jack City. The Carter. She has on a Carter bonnet. It smells like crack cocaine on the lure. Because it's Rayon. That's what they wore in the 90s, young kids. 
It's the rayon. I'm trying to help people today. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help. We are, uh, I say we, meaning me and my manager, we will be at Atlanta Comedy Theater, Atlanta Comedy Theater, next week, uh, July 15 through 18, six shows, six shows. He think he headlining, but I'm the herd learner, okay? I'm the herd learner, me, muy, okay? I don't even speak all Francais, but uh, muy. Atlanta Comedy Theater. Buy your tickets now. Buy your tickets now to see me in all of my fabulousness live on stage. All right. Who's next? Who wants to go live with the good doctor? The director, the director, the director, the director. Waiting, waiting. Hi, Dr. Devin. Hello, her. You see me though? Uh, barely because I see a whole lot of afro. Uh, can you get yeah, some, some more light, please? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm moving to the light. As uh, the great poet Common would say, there is a light that shines special for you and not me. <laughs> Seriously. How can I help I, you? I have a question. I have I, all the answers. Okay. I feel like so much emphasis is put on women to get married, have kids, but that same emphasis is not put on men. Like men tell other men not to get married and to wait. So my question is, if y'all are telling men not to get married, but you're telling women to get married. Who are we supposed to marry? <laughs> no one is telling men to not get married. Who is telling you that? Who's telling you this information? First of all, we're not about to act like. Hold on. Other, first of all, men... first of all, you're not, you're not about to first of all me. <laughs> it's uh, first of all. I'm you sorry. not been, been the first of all nobody uh, around her. her. Okay. <laughs> so watch your tone. Watch your tongue. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You got it. You got it. <laughs> so as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, how do you know that these men are being told not to be married? Men are being told to marry, but they're being told to marry a woman who is right for them. Because if men have urchins in the streets, if men have a bunch of vaginas that they can have, why would they settle down with one that gives them a headache every goddamn day? Exactly. With all these options, it's not motivating men to settle down. That is the issue. No, <laughs> you missed the whole point, baby girl. Your afro is a little too heavy today. You <laughs> did not hear what I said to you. I'm what sorry. I said to thee is because there are so many virginers out there, it is on you to be the virginer who is more than just virginer and headaches. <laughs> Show up and be pleasant. Watch the game. Watch the fight with that man. Cook for him. Rub his feet as long as he's doing what he's supposed to do. Now, I'm not giving the men a pass. I don't care how many vaginas they have. Men have a responsibility to keep you safe, okay? But in exchange for the safety, they need sanctity from the... I agree. That's fair. I agree. <laughs> have Thank I not you. spoken the word? You have. Thank you, Dr. Devin. Thank you. Thank you. You're more than welcome. You, sh you can call back anytime because I can tell you need the help. <laughs> Thank you. I do. Thank you so much. All right. Did I help you today? Uh, you are did you help me. You any did more help questions? Me. No, that was it. Okay, bye-bye now. Go comb your fro. <laughs> we can pass the offering plate around on that. I just helped a whole bunch of people if you were listening 
to work this year, dear. Who's next? Hi, Facebook. Are y'all doing all right? Are you doing all right? Don't be afraid to put some stars up there on the screen, okay? I'm just saying, don't be shy. Hey, nothing for free here. Nothing for free. <laughs> Do not forget to subscribe to the Patreon page to watch my new show, The Dr. Devin Show, on patreon.com slash Atheon Crockett. Please, please go to my manager's Patreon and subscribe monthly. Like Nerdflix. So where you can get original content. <sighs> Who's next? Who's next? I'm waiting. Waiting. I'm waiting. Okay, I'm just going to get this heifer right on up off my phone then. I'm going to cancel that request because I don't have the time. I'm not the one or the two, okay? You understand what I'm saying to you? Okay, who am I scrolling for? Who am I scrolling for? When I scroll, I just want y'all to know, I'm looking for thumbnails that look trustworthy because most of y'all are crazy. And um, I, just don't, I just don't have the time to cuss y'all out back to back like a drape song hi doctor how are you i'm doing just fine uh you have a moon on your forehead i do i am a bruja oh is that right yes sir all right well jesus uh is covering me uh with the blood of christ uh in jesus name uh uh how may i help thee well I have finally decided to get back into dating. Um, two years, eight months sober, therapy, um, healing myself, doing the inner work. However, I live in the middle of nowhere. And my career path is a little bit more spicy than the conservatives around here. So, how do I go about finding someone that is compatible for me? Well, baby girl, you're going to have to turn off all the lights because you are in the darkness. And so you're going to have to find someone who has the darkness with you, is compatible with the darkness. Darkness how? Well, you say you're a bruja. Yes, but I focus on protection and healing. Okay, well... You're gonna have to find someone who is on that path with you, uh, barefooted and uh, healing and eating leaves. Yes. <laughs> you understand me? Because I don't care what you believe in, you have to be equally yoked with the person mm -hmm. that you are looking for. So you have to hang out in the places that you, that you frequent. Where are the places that the brujas go? I stay home with because my cat. Because wherever the brujas go, the, the brothers have to be there, too. So where do brujas hang out? Uh, I guess. But, like, the crystal shops are really just women. And it'd feel kind of weird, like, hanging around, like, the, the botanica by myself. So in this community... How many men are in this in this uh, frequent your your community? Let's just and say it's kind land? of Trump land. Um, there's a lot of people that like shoot deers and they they fish. So why do you live there? Because when I left my ex husband, my parents retired here. Okay, but you can move. You need to move. I say, uh, where are you originally from? Brooklyn. Go right back there. <laughs> Represent BK to the fullest. There's plenty of men, uh, Boricuas or Dominicanos or uh, black men, <laughs> African American gods. And um, they'll be willing to make, make your acquaintance. Huh? 
Thank you. You need to move. You need to move. Pack your bags and go back to Brooklyn. I'm going, going back, <laughs> back to Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you so much. I really okay, appreciate okay, speaking with you, moon. sir. I'm gonna call you Sugar Moon from here on out <laughs> because I see the moon. I see the moon. All right, now have a good one. Bye. I had to put some holy water on my head because I didn't understand. I want to put some on my phone too because I don't want my phone getting contaminated with no demons. Just in case, just in case. I don't know what side of the fence she really was on. <laughs> I am a light in the midst of darkness, okay? No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I don't even play with all that, okay? So, seriously. <laughs> and go on about your business. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> Hallelujah. Ha ha ha. Who's next? Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi. Um, hi. How are you? And what's your name? Uh, my name is Jennifer. Hey, hi. Jennifer. Hi. <laughs> How can I help thee? I I need a boyfriend. I I don't know why I don't have one. I have a lot of people that keep asking me why I don't have a boyfriend. Okay, so here's a, a pattern that I'm starting to notice on these lives. A lot of y'all come on her and say, I need a man. I need a boyfriend. Um but you are bypassing the power of sowing and reaping. You have to become what you are wanting to attract. You have to be a girlfriend <laughs> before you attract a boyfriend. So what I'm saying to you is this. You single. Uh, yes. Obviously. <laughs> Seriously. Um, so are you uh, moving in a manner that is uh, respectful, uh, in a way that is your finances are together, your health is together, you are taking care of yourself, your nails are done, your hair is done? Are you doing these types of things for yourself already without Look at me. constantly you know, craving? I, look at me. What are you, like? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jennifer. It's <laughs> not about the fight. Oh. Looks are fleeting. I thought men like that. I thought men like, you know. Oh, no, no, no. Listen, masculine men like myself love a, a beautiful woman, okay? We love a beautiful woman. All masculine men love beauty, okay? But here's the thing. Beauty comes a dime a motherfucking dozen. Okay. I could drive down the street in my city and I could, uh, Splash water on about 50 beautiful women standing on the street. Splash water? If it's a rainy day and they stand on the sidewalk and just happen to be waiting for me to drive by. Just go with the goddamn story. Um, what I'm saying to you is you're relying on your looks too much. That's what you young girls do. You think you, all you have to be is sexy. But I'm that not young. Not... I'm 43. Well, even worse of a problem. You can't be old and vain. What do you bring to the turbo? I bring me, my essence. I mean, my essence. No, my a, man, a man cannot eat essence. Oh, my God. He cannot eat essence. <laughs> essence don't give him peace. No, no, Tell no. me what they want, please. Just, just tell me the answer. I'm, I'm telling you right now. No, 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 no. No, no. Oh, my Lord. If, Jennifer, yes. if you don't know what a man wants, how are you going to be able to provide that for him? You said you needed a boyfriend and don't know how to get one. You don't even know what a man wants. That's what I'm here for, Doc. Well, I'm trying to tell thee. Are you listening? I am listening. Con los oídos abiertos. Um, I don't speak French. Um, Spanish. 
uh, it sounded like Greek to me. Um, what I'm saying to thee is you have to know thyself. Take care of thyself and you will attract the very thing you are looking for. Become that girlfriend to I yourself. Mean, Take her of yourself. I know how to cook. I know how to clean. I have a good job. I'm creative. I'm not wearing any makeup. Like, I'm really like, I don't understand. I'm so confused. And then, because you preach about all I'm saying, keeping up all with I'm that saying to you, What I'm saying to you is when I started to give you uh, the playbook, the first thing you did was pick your phone up and show me your titties. You, I did do that, yes. You did, I know. You said, look at me, but just look at me. <laughs> look at me, look at my cleverage. Look at my cleverage. Guilty. So, so that's I what I'm saying to you. I shouldn't show my cleavage. I shouldn't show like. No, baby girl. If that's all you are offering to the men, guess what all they going to want? My cle my boobs, my tetas. They want la tetas. They want to breastfeed. That's it. And when they are done breastfeeding, they're going to need to be burped and sent on their way. That's all they want. Because they're going to shit their pampers. Okay. Bye, Jennifer. Bye. Thank you. Women, I'm trying to talk to y'all. And I'm trying to help y'all. I don't even know what to do with myself. I don't even know what to do with myself. Get the hell out of her. I'm going to bounce you out of my life. Stop leading with the titties. The turters. Le tatas. Tres leches. Seriously. Is that all you have is looks to offer? Sure, a masculine man like myself will screw the hell out of you. I will screw you. And then I will walk away. What else do you have? Can you converse with me? Can you sit up with me in the wee hours of the morning? And just talk and look up at the sky, look at the stars. Can you listen to the crickets with me? Can you do that? And then after we've done all that romanticizing, then uh, give me your titty meats. Bring something to the turbo. The turbo. Bring something to the turbo. Turbo. There's beauty everywhere. There's beauty everywhere. You ain't saying nothing. You're not saying nothing. Nothing. Who else we have, Earl? Who is next? All right, we have a gentleman who wants to come in and say something. What's up, Doc? Hello. Hey, man. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking me. How are you doing, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, listen, man. So six years ago, I was in this relationship, right? And the the chick, she just bounced on me and left me with this baby. And now I can't get no women, man, because he always cock blocking. I need a girlfriend, Doc. But everywhere I go, I got to take him. I don't, I don't know that that's going to be possible. Because everywhere you take that, show me the face again. Show me his, little, his, Look face. At his face. Look at his face, Doc. Sir, I, I hate to break it to you, but you are not ever going to have a girlfriend because that face is going to steal every heart that walks in your doorway. You, you, you can't win with that. I mean, well. He's going to so, steal them all. 
is he is he a good he's a good wingman, right? He should at least be attracting him. I mean, he is a good wingman if you go to Chuck E. Cheese and all those things into the mall. But ultimately, they're not gonna want to give you the stuff. <laughs> what, because what, what, they're gonna spend all their time trying to get to know him. What toys he likes, what food he likes, what type of, 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 of jungle gyms he likes. That's all they're going to care about. They're going to want to run their fingers through his hair. And he got he got that curly hair. It's good. Yeah, he I got know. that. Hair. I see it. He he has the young Elder Barjo, Christopher Williams. Yeah, and he knows yeah. it. I can tell by his face. He has drip on him. He has swagger on him. And, and that's dangerous. Dangerous it's not, weapon. None of it is falling on me, Doc. Oh, so what should I do? What can I do? Should I get rid of him? Can I get him up for adoption? No, you don't want to get rid of him that, that way because he's going to come back. With a face like that, he can talk his way out of any situation. So you might want to date a woman that has a puppy. You like puppies? He, he likes puppies. You, you, what kind of puppy you like? Little. A, a little puppy. So there you go. If he, if he dates a woman, that, if he, you date a woman that has a, a little puppy, that will distract him. And while they're playing, she's going to be like, I want to make sure that the puppy's okay and that he's playing well with the kids. And she's not going to focus so much on his little dimples and his little curly hair. And she's going to have time to look you in the face. So if, she, if he's playing with the puppy, I get to play with the kitty. Doc. Boom. Doc, you, you man. <laughs> Mind blown, Doc. You just did it. Okay, so I just got to find a lady with a puppy. Hold on. I'm, I'm still in my pose. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's wrong with him? He still got his arms up. I helped solve your problem, and um, you're welcome. Thank you so much. You're, you're more than welcome. Happy to okay. help. Bye, All little right. boy. Say bye. Oh, those ladies are in trouble when he gets old. That little boy, he's going to be out there killing them. And by killing them, you know what I'm talking about. Slay maker. He's going to be out there. Laying down some good uh, pipe work. Who's next? <clears throat> that little boy kind of looked like my nephew. That's so strange. I have never seen him before, ever in life. But he looked just like my nephew. All in the face. Okay, who's next? Who is next? Hi, Dr. David. Hello. It's me again. Hey, so listen. I know hunching is out. I'm not going to hunch no more. I gave Are up. Are you sure? Because you seem to be really enjoying it last time. Look, I, I gave up on that. And so I guess prostate massages is out as well. So no oh, prostate absolutely. massages. absolutely. 100%. That's All out. All right. I'm willing to do body rubs, suck on your toes, feed you, cook for you. I just, I want date naps. And um, I'm tired of masturbating. I've been doing it for over a year. My fingers is going to break. I think if I keep masturbating at this point, my fellows, they're going to file a, a sexual harassment complaint. So I want to be a loyal girlfriend, long-term relationship. But in the meantime, would I, be look, would I be frowned upon in society if I just go find somebody to bust a quick nut with? I'm just saying. No. Uh, and, and here's what I'm going to say to all women right now. Empower thyself okay. to go bust whatever nuts you want to. As long as it's within the safety of your health regimens, you go and bust whatever the healthy nut is you want to bust because it is your body. You do what you want with it. No judgment over here. Um, I would also say because you have so many things on your list of what you are willing to do. Uh, will suck toes, will rub booty holes. You need to make you a sign on cardboard or, or poster board. 
Make you a sign, a bigger one than that. A big okay. sign, like okay. those dudes that be um, on the sidewalks and they be spinning the signs for the real estate people. Gotcha. I think you need to stand on the corner and make signs and spin those signs that say, I will do anything for some penis. Not anything. Uh, well, you all, you're about two things away from anything. So <laughs> your list is kind of long. <laughs> Seriously. What, what, what would be off your list as a man? Well, you can't ask me because uh, I am I am untouchable. So uh, you have to um, ask another man what's off the list. Uh, what I would say is you put all your... Oh, see, don't, you starting to lick your tongue. Don't you be threatening me with no good times. I am not here for it. Try somewhere else. Bark up another tree. You're not going to lick me anywhere else. Yes, I burped while I was standing. No, 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 no. If you're just tuning in, I will be at Atlanta Comedy Theater next week, the 15th through the 18th. Six shows. Atheon Crocker, my manager, thanks. He's going to be headlining, but I'm the herd learner. Buy your tickets right now, atlantacomedytheater.com, ATL. Theater.com, ATL Comedy Theater.com, ATL Comedy Theater. It's in the comments. I pinned it. ATL Comedy Theater.com. Buy your tickets now. Let's sell that thing out. Okay, who's Nerd I have about uh, two more callers, and then I'm going to watch Chris Paul play some basketball that round i didn't even try to do that i was not even trying to do that but it just happened because i am so amazing like luther vandross lupa so amazing i've been working who is next who is next Further me to the moon and schedule bird. Atlanta, I'm on the way. I am on the way. All right, who's next? Who is next? <clears throat> I'm waiting. Waiting, waiting. Okay, I'm going with someone else. I'm going to try someone else because y'all are scared. Oh, shit. Are you on the toilet? <laughs> oh, oh, shit is appropriate because that is what you are doing. No. Oh, dude, Dr. W is not supposed to add me just yet. You know how long Well, ma'am, <laughs> Kerman Sent says, if you push the request, <laughs> that you should be ready at the time you push the request. Yeah. You push the burton. Yes, I did. You yes. push the burton. I did. So always be ready. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Dead, dead. Amen. Amen to that. I agree. Now, what do you want? Well, <laughs> now that I'm Besides, here, did I'm you wash here. your hands? Because I see you sitting on the toilet. Wash your goddamn hands. No, I, I, I promise I wasn't shitting. I wasn't shitting. I was sitting on the toilet, but I was not shitting, okay? I was not. Oh, no. You're going to give me fecal phone. I do not want that. I do not want that. No. trying to go viral the wrong way, okay? Wash your herns after your boo-boo. Don't be boo-booing with the phone next to you. There's fecal merger on your fur. Stop boo-booing with the phone in the birth room. Y'all so nasty.
I don't have the time. No one wants to talk to feces. Nobody wants to talk to feces. No fecal phones. Now I got to swab my phone off because her dirty ass was on my lap with the shitty hands. The shit to hands. Who's next? <clears throat> The fuck off my phone! Tired of y'all playing with me. I have time for two more people. I want to help two more people. Two more. Stop plurring with me. Do not plur with me. I'm going to scroll. All, oh, it's a whole lot of y'all on her. I'm scrolling, 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 scrolling. Hi, Facebook. Hello, hello. How are you doing, doctor? Sorry, I'm looking kind of crazy. I'm doing fine. How are you doing and what do you want? Well, I'm trying to see how I can get my my man to um, allow me to eat his ass. I want to see how I can get him to be open about that. So how should I, like, approach it to him? Ma'am, as a masculine man who has had... Um, all types of things uh, happen to, to me from women uh, of all sorts. Um, you need to get better at head. But I already give bomb ass head. No, I you don't. His, no, you don't. World. No, you don't. You don't. Your head is trash. Basura. <laughs> Basura. <laughs> Hold on. I'm, I'm going to find something for thee. I'm going I'm to show you. What your head game is like, right, bro? <laughs> it's in the comments. You see it. You see. It. I need everyone in 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 the comments to do this from with with me, in unison. I need all of y'all to to do this with me. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. Don't so, stop moving. I need you to stay in the light. Okay, I'm in the light. I need you to stay in the light. Okay, I'm in the light. I need everybody to put up the Basuda cans. Uh. <laughs> so, ma'am, um, this is very simple. Okay. The burter, you are sucking him mm -hmm. and licking him mm -hmm. with all of the spit and the, the salivas and all of the, the hand work the and the tongue work. And all that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With all of that, Mm -hmm. He ain't going to cur if you go a little further south. Okay? okay, that's fine. That's fine. 85 south. You know that's the way. That's fine with me. That's well, fine no, with Why me. are you asking me questions? You you the one with the I trash did, I, did, I just want to know how I should approach it to him. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. You, ain't have to, you don't have to ask him anything if you just down there and you giving him that work. If you're okay. giving him that work. You know, I don't mind that. Is not going to occur if you go underneath the balls. <laughs> if the balls is already in your mirth. <laughs> well, thank you so much, doctor. I just wanted to know how I could approach that. But I'll go ahead and just introduce it. Tomato, tomato. Bye. <laughs> You're making my job too easy. That was the obvious one. How can I ask my man if I can, if I have the potential to lick it? Baby girl, suck dick better. If you are sucking him out of his mind, he ain't gonna have the time to reject nothing. 
<clears throat> and if you're really sucking him off right, you can lick his bank account. Uh, 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 hello. 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 Who's next? Who is next? Scrolling. 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 Oh, uh, this is another FYI. 90% of y'all do not look like your thumbnails. 90. Waiting. Hello, doctor. Hi. How are you? I'm fantastic. What do you want? My prayers still aren't working. I'm still drinking and I'm still praying. Where's my man? Mm. I say He's... my pray I say my prayers in the morning. I thank mm -hmm. God for me not cussing nobody out. Yeah. I, I look at my sports and I pour my drink. Where's my man? He's on the way. From where? From the sky. Ladies, don't know if man want a desperate ass woman sitting around drinking all goddamn day. Come on, where's my man? Where's my man? Where's my man? Who are you mad at? Who are you mad at? It ain't Oxygen's fault that the man ain't just up her out of nowhere. Who are you mad at? Who are you drinking with besides yourself? Men don't want that. And make that 91% who don't look like they got them thumbnails. Seriously. Who is next? Hello. Hi. Ah. There you go. Hello. I have a question for the doctor. I'm listening. Okay, so I met um, my friend that I've been talking to in boot camp a couple years back. And we were like social media, like we were staying in contact because he lives in another state. I'm sorry. Hold on. Did you say through camp? Boot camp in the military. Boot camp, like training. Basic training. How old are they? How old are they? Uh, 24. He's 23. Child, you look 13. <laughs> so, oh, I got to to college. Literally. So you met this person in boot camp and what? Yeah, we've been staying in contact through over the years through, like, social media. But I... We both had like a crush on each other in boot camp. Obviously, we were too occupied, obviously. <laughs> but so we like, I kind of like took that leap of faith, I guess. And um, I, I just wanted to see what's going to happen. So we've been talking for like two months, but he's very career oriented. So am I. But we're just trying to like figure out a happy medium or a balance. I don't know what should we do in that situation. Do y'all live in the same city? No. How far apart are they? A uh, couple of states over. So I'm in D.C. and he's in Kansas City. But right now, because he's going to be like, well, the military have him moving somewhere else. So he's trying to. Get well, do, do y'all want do y'all want to be together? Because right now it just sounds like a bunch of excuses. 
I know, right? Um, yes, we do, but I guess he just wants to make sure. I don't know what he wants to make sure. I think he, he wants, wants to make sure. He everything. wants to make sure that the other vaginas out there ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Long distance is the wrong distance. Look, y'all ain't nothing but 24 and 22. Y'all don't even know how to brush your teeth correctly. So don't be trying to be booed up and try to get married and all that. Y'all don't know what the hell y'all doing. So um, you're welcome. All right, I have time for one more person. One more person. Who's the person going to burn? Who is the person going to burn? I'm scrolling, scrolling. -er. And also uh, make that 92 percent. Get better photos, people. Better photos that show who you actually are in the flesh. Waiting, waiting. Cancel the. She's been canceled. She has been canceled. Okay, I'm trying to find one more person. I'm trying. I've been helping a lot of people tonight. I don't care what y'all say. I know I've done my job. Pay me. Don't lay me. Okay. Seriously. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Waiting. Waiting. One more person. I only have time for one more. Don't play on my phone. Don't play on my phone. Okay, cancel there. Cancel there. Bye, Abu. Canceled. You've been cancelled. You have been cancelled. Okay, who else? Who else is out there that wants to jump on live? Who else wants to be helped? Who wants their life changed forever? Okay, y'all. Okay, one more person declined me. I'm just going to end the live. I'm just going to end it. Because I'm not the one or the two. Or the three for that matter. Huh? Seriously. Seriously. Waiting. While I'm waiting, make sure y'all go over to patreon.com slash Avion Crockett and watch my new TV show, The Dr. Devin Show. Episode one is up right now. The full episode. Y'all. Y'all. The full episode. Full. In full. Episode one. And at Learn Tour, I will be there next week, the 15th or the 18th, at Atlanta Comedy the Third. Okay, y'all keep declining me. You're going to make me call you out your name. You're going to make me call the irk your name. And I'm not her for it. Do not send a request if you're not ready to talk to the director. Do not send it. Because I will end it. I'm trying to find one more person there. And I'm turned of y'all not being ready with the random doctor picking on you. 
waiting, waiting. I'm trying to find one more person, but y'all seem to not want to come on. I mean, I thought, I thought. I thought I was helping people. I seriously did. I seriously thought I was helping people. Hmm. All right, last person. Last person. Doc, I have a testimony. Um, I can't see you. I can't hear you. Oh, my bad. Can you hear me now, sir? Okay, I heard you. Okay, well, first of all, good evening to you. The Daishiki is the bomb. I just had to let you know that. Oh, and thank you. I know. I know. Thank you. Yes. And I wanted to give you an update that your advice really helped me out. Well, tell tell the world how I've done that for you, for thee. Listen, I got out of my own way with the Thundercat. And um, everything that you said was right. Everything that you said was right. All the advice. I gave up on the roof. He is, part. he is banging your back out into the, 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 <laughs> the neighbor's yard, ain't he? <laughs> well, listen, I'm a lady, so, you know, we're not going to go into the details and everything. It's okay, but... girlfriend. I understand. It's okay. You don't have to turn me anything, but I know what he's doing. The <laughs> man is laying the perk. The man, the young man, look her up. The young man is laying the <laughs> long perk, all of the perk, all. Oh. Mm. Mm. Wait a minute. Um, so listen, yeah, but see, <laughs> okay, but your advice really, really helped me. So everyone that is listening, you should pay attention to what this man tells you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I got out of my own way. And um, and everything is great. And for those of y'all that don't understand what she is talking about and referring to, she has a, she's a cougar. And she started dating this really young nigga with a strong back. <laughs> and um, she was hesitant because of his age. And I told her, uh, explore the cabbage patch. And let the little young nigga uh, take his way with you. And so you are now coming back a satisfied customer with your back blown out to the neighbor's yard. They know my name. They do know my name. <laughs> Pussy tastes like champagne. I know. <laughs> well, I have done my job. Tonight, I have done my job. And I just want to thank you all for always just supporting me, for logging on and listening to the advice because I know that I am right. Everything I say is right. And um, that is just what it is. So, at Atlanta, Atlanta, I will be at the Atlanta Comedy Theater next week. Buy your tickets right now at atlcomedytheater.com and then log on to my Patreon. My manager's Patreon, seriously. Patreon.com forward slash Atheon Crockett to uh, watch my new TV show, The Dr. Devin Show. Yo, go right now and subscribe to my Patreon. To his Patreon. I keep saying it wrong. Seriously. Do I have time for one more? Do I have time for one more? Okay, maybe one more. One more. But you better answer your friend. Answer your phone. Seriously. Waiting. Wait. Uh, yes. How are you? I'm well, but we cannot hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. 
can you all hear me now? Burley. I'm not sure why you can't hear me. What do you want? I just wanted to see if I'm not going to be like the other young lady with the where's my man and I don't have a man, but uh, just give me some advice, Dr. Devin. Um, I will give you some great advice. Um, get a new phone air. I just don't have the time. I told y'all to stop using the Teddy Riley Wi-Fi. Cut it out. Good night.